me and my dad was uh, built on the fence, and I knew something was wrong, but I, sh I should have done something right then, but I didn't. But um, he had a heart attack, and he died. By my parents' last way, it really got to me. Um, it just heartbroken that that was, that was my rock at that time. Back in 2002, um, my brother in Cicelo, um wanted me to go to church with him. I got saved then. Here recently, um, when my sister-in-law passed and then my brother-in-law passed, um, it really got to me then because I, I feel like back then I was by myself. I, I had no one to turn to. That's when I started doing heavy stuff, meth and heroin. I came down here to New Orleans and tried to, tried to make ends meet so I could get me a hotel. I was homeless then. I had a, a, a girl that I was riding, uh, that was riding with me. She took my, took my van, so they had left me straight here. So I went to UMC and because my back was hurting me. And one, the nurse told me about the New Orleans mission. So I came here, got in this, in this like, the SHIELD program, and um, and then went to GHR uh, for church one uh, one Sunday, and that's when I found God. So I rededicated my my life to Him. I looked in the mirror and I found that I wasn't truly committed to God. I had some unforgiveness uh, left in me, in me, and once I gave my all that to, to God. He um, he blessed me. I realized it's not my time; it's 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 on his time. And so I humbled myself, and then I start receiving God's words when I start believing in Him on on and doing what He wanted me to do at, at His time. I got brothers that I can count on, that loves me, that cares for me. When I came here on a mission, I knew right then where I needed to be. My name is Michael, and I'm a child of God. <laughs>